Hey socialites, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Arielle. I do mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and lifestyle. So if those are the type of videos you enjoy, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and come join the family. So there has been several fragrance releases over the past probably week or two. And I was able to pick up Burberry Goddess Intense, as well as the new Nest Vanilla Bourbon Parfum. And I thought I'd link both of these together since there are those sort of vanilla, slightly spicy type fragrances. They're not super similar, but they do have similarities. So let's start off with a Nest Vanilla Bourbon. This one is the most robust and has the most presence out of the two. Their travel size is actually about seven ounces and it retails for $32 and it goes up to $92 for the 1.7 ounce. So let me refresh myself on the opening and I do already have that the vanilla bourbon sprayed on this arm. So this is sort of a mildly sweet vanilla with a slightly boozy undertone to it and it does give a little powdery as well to me in the opening and as it dries down there's something in here that gives it something clean like a clean aspect to it almost like clean linen so after about an hour on my skin you get like this mildly sweet vanilla with a slightly boozy undertone and something that becomes like this fresh clean linen scent it's a moderate projecting fragrance it's not like super bold but it's not like super close to the skin either after about three hours of having it on my skin it did sort of start to die down and become somewhat of a skin scent and after about five hours i found that it was just a straight up close to the skin skin scent and it, it remained that way so the notes in nest vanilla bourbon it opens up with vanilla and brown sugar and then it has nice blooming jasmine and musk in it it's not super musky and for it to have brown sugar and vanilla in here you would think that it's super sweet but it's not it's a very subtle sweetness it's a nice fragrance I would say that it's unisex when you smell it it's one of those fragrances you can't quite tell if it's for a man or a woman it smells a little bit casual but you could dress it up too because it does have that booziness that's in there to me gives it something that you could wear at night and if you're thinking if this is a fall or winter fragrance it sort of leans fall winter to me slightly um, but it is light and bright enough for you to be able to wear it year round in my opinion when I smell the perfume and I try to picture in my mind what would I wear with it when I pick this up I think like a light denim jean and a blazer something like that because it's just sort of one of those unisex type fragrances or I could even see you wearing this at night with like a silk silky slip dress with a blazer with some dainty jewelry because it does give slightly sexy. So as far as layering combinations, you could try to amp up the vanilla in here because it is a subdued vanilla. It's not like a super robust gourmand type vanilla. It's a mild vanilla if you get what I mean. So if you want to put like a vanilla, like the um, Fenty vanilla butter drop or like a um, your EOS vanilla cashmere to amp up that sweet vanilla to make it a little bit sweeter I think that would be nice with this or if you wanted to go the route to sort of boost up that clean scent in here because you really do get that clean sort of clean fresh linen types undertone out of this you could do one of those type body creams if you have um, I think it's called t-shirt from Bath and Body Works and it just sort of smells like clean linen I could see that working well with this too too, and it just gives it more of like that clean vibe. So the one that I was most excited about is Burberry Goddess Intense um, because Burberry Goddess is a beautiful fragrance. I have it in a travel size. I put it on this month's uh, perfume tray because I wanted to sort of familiarize it um, in my head because I knew that I was going to be picking this one up. And they're not super similar in my opinion. Um, if I didn't know this was Burberry Goddess Intense, I wouldn't have put them together if you get what I mean so the opening of this one gives sort of like a floral perfume it's like a floral vanilla equally as floral and vanilla to me 
It's not like a vanilla bomb like the original. And to me, this doesn't give gourmand. This doesn't smell like anything sort of edible or dessert-like at all, in my opinion. The vanilla in here is, it's not super sweet like the original. It's probably like that moderate sweetness. It is sweeter than vanilla bourbon from Nest, but it's nowhere near as sweet as the original. Burberry Goddess. Now this one is a moderate projector as well, but it starts to wear down after about an hour. And after about two hours or so, it's just like a straight up skin scent, like really, really close to the skin. So it doesn't last very long and it's not like a super projector either. So the notes for Burberry Goddess Intense, it opens up with lavender. It has vanilla, vanilla absolute, and bourbon vanilla in the mid. You guys, when you, and it has vanilla caviar, when you hear all of that you think it's going to be a vanilla bomb but it's not it's not and then in the base you have patchouli so it's just sort of it's not super earthy to have patchouli in there now to me this would be a year-round perfume because it's not it is warm it's a warm scent, but it's not super warm and comforting like the original. It has more brightness than the original. So I would say this is a year round perfume, kind of casual. I wouldn't necessarily wear this at night. This is one of those fragrances you could just put on with anything, just running errands, jeans and a t-shirt, you know, maybe a sundress or something. Nothing too serious, nothing really overly sexy. I would say 20s and up. It does lean a little bit feminine, but I feel like a man or a woman could wear this if you're a man that doesn't mind sweet fragrances. So for me, it was a little bit underwhelming only because I was comparing it to the original, which is a lot more robust and a lot more head turning. So overall, to compare the two, if you were looking for something more robust with the presence, Vanilla Bourbon would give that. The Burberry Goddess and tense is sort of more laid back and subdued and sort of in the background and it wears off fairly quickly. Um, the Nest fragrance definitely lingers around longer. As far as layering combinations with Burberry Goddess Intense, you could definitely put anything vanilla underneath the EOS Vanilla Cashmere. You could do the Fenty Vanilla Dream or either the Fenty Warm Cinnamon just to give it more of a robust vanilla scent and to help it last longer because it doesn't last very long. So comment down below. Let me know if you've tried either one of these or are you interested in trying them. If you wanted to look more into these perfumes or pick them up, there is a white shopping tab on the screen for YouTube shopping. You can click on that link and check it out. Or I'll also have them linked in the description box. If you're new here, welcome. I would love for you to come join the family by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause too fresh with the sky